selling expired goods, but an act of criminality. Three people have been left dead after violent clashes between shop owners and the looters. 32 people have been arrested for various crimes, including murder, attempted murder, possession of unlicensed firearms and public violence. For the latest on this story, we now cross live to our reporter, Criselda Lewis, who is in Soa. To Criselda, what is happening where you are? Well, Desiree, a massive uh, cleanup operations uh, here in Soweto at uh, many of the shops that were affected uh, by the looting. You can see here the residents are picking up the pieces of uh, what is left and, of course, counting the costs of uh, the damage as well. The situation is relatively calm in Soweto this morning, but uh, there is a huge police presence that has been brought into the area to make sure that uh, there is no further incidents that uh, do take place. I also do understand that uh, the uh, Gauteng Provincial Commissioner, Deliwe Dilanga, is expected uh, in this area this morning together with the Community Safety MEC, Deliwe Dilanga. Of course, I think the sentiment they will share with the community here is to exercise some restraint moving forward. I do understand that more than 20 people have been arrested uh, relating to the violence uh, that took place here. And I also hear from police that uh, some of the foreign nationals in this area had fled to the local police station and others have opted to leave this particular area. But uh, with all of that that's said and done at this point, uh, police are certainly looking uh, for a way forward in terms of how they're going to try and restore calm in this area. In speaking uh, to some of uh, the residents here, the shop where I am standing is a shop that belongs to a South African. And uh, he told me he did not want to come on camera, but did say that uh, their shops were also targeted yesterday. They took fridges, they took uh, some of the stoves uh, that they used uh, to run this operation here as well and uh, many of the goods uh, were also looted here a lot of sporadic incidents of uh, violence and looting also took place last night but let me bring in the spokesperson for the South African Police Service in Gauteng, Lungelo Lamini, if you could please just join me here. Uh, Ndati Lamini, thank you very much for your time. I know we have to be very brief as you're rushing to a meeting. Just an update, what is the situation in various parts of uh, Soweto this morning? It is very calm uh, this morning. Uh, also last night we deployed um, uh, uh, many members in all the areas. And also this morning there are members who are patrolling the area who want to stabilize the area to make sure that uh, there are no more violence. Uh, just a regard, uh, regarding an update as well, we do know that three people have been killed uh, in uh, the violence that we saw yesterday. How many have been arrested at this stage? Uh, we have arrested uh, 27 people and um, some of those arrested, three of, of them, they were arrested for serious crimes. One for murder, one attempted murder and also we recovered three firearms. But um, we are still assessing the situation in other areas. Uh, maybe there can be more updates. Part of this would also be to ensure that police are uh, deployed uh, through to various areas that have been affected. With regard to the foreign nationals, uh, you did say that some of them uh, did take cover at uh, the local police station. Uh, have others opted to leave? What safety measures have been put uh, to ensure that uh, there is no further harm uh, brought to anyone? Um, some of them came to the police station at, at uh, Morocco, but uh, at a later stage they left on their own. And uh, some um, uh, took the goods from their shops, uh, they used the trucks and then they left. But um, uh, those um, uh, that were still inside their shops, uh, we advised them to close early. And uh, all the shops were, were uh, closed early, but um, during the night we understand there were some uh, other areas where there were some attempts to loot, but uh, police were quick to uh, prevent those lootings. Um. Obviously, the charges uh, that uh, the arrested will face, could you give us some clarity on that? And do we know at this stage exactly how many shops have been affected? Because the one where we're standing at the moment does belong to a South African, and uh, those were also the shops that were targeted in the sporadic looting that we saw. Uh, I don't know the number at this stage, but uh, we are still assessing the situation. Uh, maybe at a later stage we'll know uh, how, uh, how many shops were looted, but the suspect that were arrested... Um, um, one was arrested for murder, uh, other one attempted murder, and uh, two, they were arrested for 
uh, possession of unlicensed firearm and others were arrested for public violence as well as uh, uh, malicious damage to property. We do understand uh, that uh, the Gauteng uh, uh, Provincial Police Commissioner as well as uh, the MEC for Community Safety will also be in this area uh, this morning. Uh, what do we expect out of that? And of course, police would need to find um, a method to use to ensure that the situation remains as calm as uh, many of the affected uh, uh, shop owners count the costs. Uh, they will be engaging with the members of the community to find out exactly what led to this looting and uh, how can we work together to uh, prevent further looting. There have been incidents where, uh, in fact, many have said that what led to this was uh, the issue relating to um, expiry goods, expired goods, I beg your pardon, that have been sold at uh, these um, uh, shops belonging uh, to foreign nationals. Uh, is that some of the issues that uh, the MECs and as well as uh, the Provincial Police Commissioner are going to address with regard to the community? Because there seems to be a lot of discontent uh, regarding um, uh, the foreign shop owners operating in that manner within various townships in Gauteng. Those are the... Unfortunately, we have to cut out of that interview with Chriselle de Lewis live in Soweto, Johannesburg. Interesting conversation, but we'll try to get back to her as soon as possible.